Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a very highly requested video. I get people asking all the time what CC I use so I'm finally going to tell you. Today we are going to be starting with things like skin details, eye defaults that I use, eyebrows, anything on the face is going to be what we're focusing on today. And if you do enjoy this video and find it useful and you want to see more CC videos of other things that I use such as hair, clothes, other things like that then let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it tells me that you enjoy it. Now today we are focusing on adults. I do have another video planned for children and toddlers as I have a lot of children and toddler CC. So again let me know if you want to see that as well. But this is our sim. Her name is Marcella Spicer spicy name and her aspiration is gonna be knowledge nerd brain i think that is and she is cheerful <laughs> adventurous <laughs> and a freedom not that it really matters but just so we have an idea of who we are looking at here and um, first and foremost i use a default cc skin so all of my townies come in with the default skin i actually forgot that i use one but the one that i use is called papillion by viavi and this skin blend is available for all ages and all genders and it will basically be set for your sim when you load in. I do believe you can only have one default skin set at any one time so check your mods in case anything is conflicting. Something else that I use in my game a lot is the Lumia height slider mod and under the body section you can set their height through presets or if you would like to adjust it yourself you can <laughs> grab their neck with your mouse and move them up and down and you can go really really small with your sims or you can do the opposite and go really tall or just use the presets whatever floats your boat. Now when it comes to to setting skin tones, I in the past have used CC skins because up until the last couple of years, the Sims in-game skin tones were pretty naff. You didn't have all the options that you do have now. So CC skin tones kind of saved the game there. However, since they added the updated skin tones, I do find it best to use the in-game ones rather than the CC ones because otherwise it messes with genetics. The genetics of your kids are a little bit wild and out of touch if you don't have the in-game skin tones. To be honest, to this day, I still make the mistake and forget to use in-game skin tones, but I would definitely recommend that. I also use the more columns mod so that you can have more than just two columns. I use the fourth one because I find it's a lot easier to look through, to search through. And not only that, but I also use Sparrow Tidy Skin Details. And you may have seen this if you've seen some of my Sims mods videos, but it essentially sections up the skin details categories. So you know what goes on which layer. So you you cannot apply more than one thing to each layer so it just gives you a bit more of an idea of what you can apply it what you can't apply and i could not live without this mod all right so let's start with the different skins that i use i tend to sometimes quite often have same face sim syndrome because i like certain skin details to add to them but i will show you some of my favorite skin tones that i've been loving at the moment so firstly we've got these two skins here by symbionts and they come in all sorts of variations which I absolutely love and this is the second one and it not only has freckles to the face on some of the skin tones but it also changes your sims body as well so this one adds a soft belly which I absolutely love so these are the essentially and huckleberry skin blends by symbionts the polar skin by sims free melancholic is one that I love as well and often use on my sims it comes with a full body one or just a face skin blend whichever you prefer and also by sims 3 melancholic is the ronda skin tone and like that one it has the two different options and i love using these skin blends because they just add so much to the face if you look at my sim without it and then what it adds it adds around the lips just the whole face freckles a bit of under eye detailing eyelid detailing it, they're just amazing we have then got a skin overlay which is by sims 3 melancholic and obscurus i'm not sure of the name for this this one but all of the links will be in the description below it will take you to a Kofi page where I have put them all so if you do like anything that I show today you will be able to get it yourself my favorite skin face overlay is the overlay face skin v1 by go pulls me I use this on a lot of my sims and again this comes in all sorts of different variations as well with different eyelids different like monolids all sorts of options that you can add to your sims and next to that one is 
years ago pulls me gold skin tones s1 which is a full body one <laughs> i think yes it is so that is another one that i quite like to use as well my lashes that i use are kajiko i barely use anything but kajiko because they truly do the best lashes and you may have noticed that my sims do not have that horrible block of ea eyeliner that comes with the game base game essentially that is because i use kajiko's mod or cc which is the remove ea eyelashes and it's just got to be done <laughs> so yeah kajiko lashes and remove the ea eyelashes mod something else that i practically put on all of my sims is this little fellow and it does show in the different categories so if you can't put it on this layer it will be in another layer and it is the gs face shine and it adds a little bit of face shine it adds a bit of blush and it shows some of your sims pores here as well and you can find this on glitch syndrome's tumblr and it's chizami's blush to skin detail and i also love to use this nose shine and again you've got options of all the way down the nose and on the tip or just down the nose and in different like opacities or adjust like a shine dot on the nose and that is a time to shine nose highlight by alexa and if i'm not using the gs face shine then i'm using fayish's face light and pores which do as it says they add a bit of shine or um, add pores to different parts of your sim skin when it comes to freckles i love adding freckles to my sims cerberus freckles by glossary are some of my favorite and it comes with a few different freckle options in different colors as well also by glossary i love the core freckles and likewise this comes with a lot more options than the cerberus ones in various different colors as well it also adds to the body too which i absolutely love because freckles aren't just on the face so would definitely recommend those if you're looking for some freckles for your sims but if you do just want some face freckles then i do tend to use the msq sims face freckles and it just adds a bit of light freckling on the nose or the ray Mysterium freckles as well which are kind of very symmetrical nose slash cheek under eye freckles squeamish sims has a boo boo blush that i tend to use sometimes although i don't use it if i'm already using the gs face shine but you've got different options of the boo boo blush for different skin tones here as you can see i tend to use it a lot on my toddlers because when they're teething sometimes maybe their cheeks might be flushed or you know whatever so boo boo blush by squeamish sims is another favorite of mine when it comes to adding a bit of eye detailing i use praline sims eye bags and they are the n09 one and i always use the kind of gray one at the bottom here with these different options do you have more options in like a darker sort of eye bag or red which i never tend to use but i guess if you are trying to make your sim look really tired really exhausted then maybe you would use those ones i don't tend to contour my sims faces a lot but if i do i use the go pause me ones some of them are so slight that you kind of can't really notice them a lot and there's a few different options here not only for your cheekbones but also like around your eyelids as well or some of them are a little bit more obvious on the sims face so all of those by go pause me these little pupil overlays by p pipes I'm, I'm not for sure how to say that but i love them i love using them on if i've got like an occult sim like an alien or a vampire or something like that they're quite cool the obscurus n1 hairline is something that i use on the majority of my sims there are different hair colors here to use and it's just quite a nice base to put your sims hair on it looks a bit more realistic and, and looks like they've got the baby hairs coming through like like you know hair generally does um, i have a fair few different nose overlays but the one that i use the most is the n2 nose overlay by obscurus and you can see all sorts of different options of noses here as well in different shades i guess and i like using praline's mouth corners as well i have the n1 and n3 ones and yeah i don't really use them a lot sometimes you don't need them but sometimes it's just nice to make your sim look a little bit more smiley when it comes 
to eyebrows. So I have a lot of praline eyebrows, as you can see, but some of my favorites are once again, the Go Pause Me eyebrows. I find that they tend to look really, really natural. Like, look at that. So I've got all of their different eyebrows. You can sort of see here, we've got G17, G20, G22, MG10. Some of them are like male or female, but you can use them on any sim. Love the G18 ones because I kind of brush my eyebrows up like that with a gel. They've got these ones as well. But I also have the Miko eyebrow slider. And what this does is basically if you have an eyebrow on your sim and you feel as though it's maybe a little bit too thin, you can actually thicken it up. So what you want to do is you put your mouse kind of around here, hold down, and then you can kind of just move the eyebrow up and it will thicken it up. So let's show this for example. Thicken it up or make it a little bit thinner. And that is the Miko eyebrow slider. I've recently been liking some of Twisted Cat's eyebrows, but they have a little bit more of a Maxis match feel to them. Whereas some of Go Pause Me ones are a little bit more alpha, but I like mixing it up. So <laughs> whatever I'm feeling on the day is, is what, I go, what I tend to go with. All right, so my main default eye at the moment is Go Pause Me G11. I know I keep going back to Go Pause Me. <laughs> I know I keep going back to Go Pause Me, but honestly, they have got some fantastic stuff I would definitely recommend. So G11 are my default eyes and you can use the default eyes or in the makeup section, you can go ahead and place the eyes on through there. So I can go and change this Sims eyes in the makeup section. Sometimes it glitches out, but you're better off keeping it on the in-game Sims eyes and then popping your eyes on via here. But the only issue with this is, and why I tend to always use my default eyes is when you are applying it on in the makeup section, you have to do it for every single outfit. Otherwise it will just remove them on the next outfit and go back to like default. Once again, Go Pulls Me has a lot of these eyes that you can put on in the makeup section, which I love to use. But also praline eyes are very good as well. Also for if you have got occult sims and you wanna make the eyes look a little bit more different and obvious that they are occult and not sims, you can do that there as well. But what I love about praline's eyes is that they've got some heterochromia eyes. So this is where you can have one eye be one color and then the other eye be a different color, which I find really, really cool. My old default eyes before I had the G11 eyes were these ones and they are Crybaby Paradise eyes. And honestly, I don't know how I use these because I absolutely love the Go Pulls Me G11. I just think they're really cool. What I do always love to add to my eyes is in accessories. And this is one that you do have to do for each outfit as well. But once again, by Pyxis, the eye highlights and you can basically just add a bit of light to the eyes. It makes them look a bit more glossy, a little bit more realistic. And again, there are all sorts of different options here for that as well. And if your sim is, I believe, a teenager or older, under the body category in tattoos as well, you'll also find the eye highlights. And obviously that will do it for every single outfit. Definitely recommend the eye highlights. So I have a few different teeth variations as well by Magic Bot. If you want your teeth to look a little bit more realistic, or again, if you've got any occult sims, any sims, teenagers, or any age sims that want braces, you can add those as well. And I also have some Obscurus eye presets as well that can kind of change how your sims look too, if you want to add that. I do have some nose presets, but I don't tend to use them to be honest with you. And I don't think I've ever touched these lip presets in my life, but if you do want them, the majority of them are by Obscurus. And there we go. This is how this sim looks now that I've popped a few of the bits and bobs that I've mentioned onto them. And now we have got a male sim called Antoine Branham and they are creative. Gonna become Lord of the Knits. They're a child of the island. They are a horse lover and they're also creative. But honestly, I use a lot of the similar CC that I put on my female presenting sims on the males as well. So obviously same eye presets, same sort of eye additions as the females and also using a lot of the same skin details, especially when it is just a face overlay. I did make the mistake very early on in my CC days. I put in, you may have noticed this, I think it was in my 100 baby challenge, I put a female presenting body detail on a male sim and suddenly the male sim came in with boobala jubilas. 
<laughs> now I always check. But in particular, when it is just a face overlay, I find it quite safe to put on my male presenting sims. So such as the one that I mentioned earlier by Go Pulls Me, the overlay V1 face skin. This works on whichever sim you would like to put it on, as you can see. But here are a few male standouts that I like to put on my sims. One being the Obscurus Skin N5 overlay. And I'm just going to take my sims clothes off so that you can see it a little bit better. And let's pop that on. So this is a full body overlay and it adds a lot of definition to the sims it adds a little bit of snail trail hair i think that's what it's called as well and also changes up their face to be a little bit softer which i absolutely love i love his nose as well and then another skin overlay which i quite like to use often which is actually a little bit more max's match rather than alpha is the satin finish by hayden and with this one you can pop it on your sims and again, there's all sorts of options if you would like to change the different highlights on the face and whatnot. And with this skin overlay, and also with this one to the left of it, the DNA skin by Oasis Goth, what I find with them is you build them up. So you put this as like your starting point, and then you add your eyelashes, maybe a little bit softer here. Like perhaps we'll do those ones. And then maybe uh -huh. you decide to add your, your nose highlight, your face overlay that has your pores, your nose shine, or your nose mask even. And maybe you decide to add some moles to him as well. But you kind of work with it and you build it up. So it's kind of every different person's perspective, everyone's preference, whatever you wanna do with your Sims really. So some facial hair that I tend to use, we have got Zen X's Z04Z, Z04 <laughs> and Z05 that you can kind of change the hair color for. I have a lot of praline ones that are absolutely amazing, all different levels of growth. If you want just a mistake, that's kind of creepy, but if you want whatever you can, add this, you can match your hair color, you can change the different hair colors, whatever floats your boat with your Sims, you can do. Um, would highly, highly recommend, if you just want sideburns, would highly recommend Praline. And I think they must have a CC folder somewhere with all of these in it, so yeah definitely praline. Intro Sims though also does some good hair as well. So you've got the beard oh, number three, the little goatee, what do they call that? Beard number four. And then I think I've also got, yes, beard number six as well. So a little bit longer, but yeah, if you're looking for beard options or mustaches or whatever, then these are some of the few that I use. And then also when it comes to body hair, again, not just for men, but whatever you want to do. I have got, well, I know that The Sims now has in-game hair, but I find that quite naff in comparison to some CC body hair that I use. But I use Lumia Body Hair V5, and this is what it looks like. It looks a lot more realistic than the one that EA and The Sims have produced, in my opinion, but it adds chest hair all down the stomach as well it adds a bit of arm hair a bit of leg hair as well and comes in all different flavors whatever you need for your sim highly highly recommend them another tattoo that i actually forgot to mention earlier is aoshi's body birthmark set and it is the vitiligo set so i actually have got these in the face option but also the body option as well and it comes in different options of colors too so if you want a bit of more lighter one or whatever floats your boat you can do that that is the face one and i do have have a body one somewhere yes but as you can see it adds the vitiligo to my sims body i do believe i've also got these on the skin details but sometimes if you're adding a lot of facial skin details to your sims you often don't have the set layer for vitiligo or different options of things that you want to add so it's good that there is an option in the tattoo section as well so i hope that you found my first cc video useful and like i have said i do want to do more of these videos in the future not only for the adult sims but also for the children and toddlers because their cc is very different to what i use on adults so let me know if you want to see those videos down in the comment section below let me know what more you want to see for the adults whether it's hair piercings clothes different 
things like that. And if you did enjoy this video and if you did find it useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then don't forget to do that. I am trying to reach 100,000 subs on YouTube by the end of this year. So it would be amazing if we're able to do that. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your comments down below with what CC you want to see for future videos. And remember, if you want to download anything that I showed in today's video, check the description because there will be a link to my Ko-fi where all of the links of everything that I showed today will be. So let me know what you're going to download as well. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, look after yourselves. Taz out.